Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video. This is my reaction video for the match that will be taking place this evening at Stamford Bridge in the Premier League between Chelsea and Brighton and Hove Albion. And as always, I'll be kicking off this reaction video by giving you guys my team sheet reaction. And in terms of my team sheet reaction, I'll be giving you guys the Chelsea first team. At, sorry, I'll be giving you guys the Chelsea starting 11 first. I'll then be giving you guys the Brighton and Hove Albion starting 11. I'll be giving you guys the two benches in the exact same order. And lastly, I'll be giving you guys a recap of the two starting 11s. Um, honestly, guys, I wasn't feeling as though I was going to do this because of the Super League news, but anyways, I'll get into it. Um, so, it's a 3-4-3 slash 3 4 2 one for Chelsea in terms of the formation, and Thomas Tuchel has gone with Kepa in goal. He's gone with a back three of Kurt Zuma, Andreas Christensen, and Antonio Rudiger. He has gone with a midfield four, including the two wing backs from right to left, of Rhys James, Jorginho, Mason Mount and Marcos Alonso and he has decided to go with a front three from right to left of Hakim Ziyech, Kai Havertz and Christian Pulisic. That's an interesting team I must say. Now for the Brighton and Hove Albion starting eleven, according to one football they have matched our formation and have um, of course gone with a 3-4-3, possibly a 3-4-2-1. They've gone with Robert Sanchez in goal. They've gone with a back three of Ben White, Lewis Dunk and Adam Webster. They have gone with a, a midfield four, including the wing backs from right to left, of Joel Veltman, Pascal Gross, Yves Pesuma and Dan Byrne. And they have decided to go with a front three from right to left of Alexis McAllister, Danny Welbeck and Leandro Trossard. That is a very strong team, I must say. Um, now for the two benches, Tom Stuchel has placed N'Golo Akante, Timo Werner, Edouard Mendy, Olivier Giroud, Callum hudson Doy, Ben Chilwell, Billy Gilmore, Cesar Azpilicueta and Emerson Palmieri on the bench for the Blues. Now for the Brighton and Hove Albion bench, I apologise for not knowing all the first names of the players on the bench, so I'm just going to read out the first names of the ones I do know. Um, Sorry about that. Graham Potter has placed Neil Mope, Adam Lalana, Moda, Alareza Yahanbash. Um, is it Stephen Alzate? Do not quote me on that one. Jose Izquierdo, Steele, David Proper, and Zakiri. I do not know how to pronounce that one. I apologise, but yes, that's the Bryce Van Hove Albion bench for you guys. Now for the recap of the two starting 11s, starting off with the Chelsea starting 11. It's a 3 4 3 slash 3 4 2 1 for us in terms of the formation. Thomas Tuchel has gone with Kepa in goal. He has gone with a back three of Kurt Zuma, Andreas Christensen, and Antonio Rudiger. He has gone with a midfield four, including the wing backs from right to left of Rhys James, Jorginho, Mason Mount, and Marcos Alonso. And he has gone with a front three from right to left of Hakim Ziyech, Kai Havertz, and Christian Pulisic. Um, now for the Brighton and Hove Albion team again, it's also a 3-4-3 three, three for them. Um, Robert Sanchez in goal, a back three of Ben White, Lewis Dunk and Adam Webster, a midfield four including the two wing backs from right to left of Joel Veltman, Pascal Gross, Yves Basuma and Dan Byrne, and a front three from right to left of Alexis McAllister, Danny Welbeck and Leandro Trossard. Um, two very interesting teams I must say. Am I looking forward to this one? I am, but not as much as I was before this whole Euro European Super League news came out. But I am glad to hear that we are looking to pull out of it because honestly, this just cannot happen. And I will be giving you guys my full thoughts on this after I publish my review of today's game. So stay tuned for that. And I sincerely hope that you all enjoy the rest of this reaction video. Do I want to say, come on Chelsea? I'm just going to say it anyway. Come on Chelsea, let's do this. Come on. Some good goals. Come on, Chelsea. 
just over eight minutes have been played. Um, we have struggled to get the ball into our final third so far, and neither side has really been able to create any clear cut chances so far. But yes, I have to, I have to say that Brighton have made a good start to this match. Christian Pulisic has a chance to put the ball into the back of the net after some good pressing and some good movement from us, Christian Pulisic included, but his shot did go wild off the target because Christian Pulisic's foot did go into the ground before he struck the ball, and trust me, I've played football, and it's very annoying, it is very annoying having that happen, but yes, it was a good try from Christian Pulisic anyway, um, just over 17 minutes have been played. Kai Havertz and Kurt Zuma both get shots on target, but neither of the shots were um, too testing for Robert Sanchez in the Brighton goal, but they're still shots on target. Just over 23 minutes have been played, I think it is. I can't see from here, but yes, two shots on target, or two more shots on target for the Blues. There are less than eight minutes plus additional time left at the end of this first half. We are into one added minute at the end of the first half. It's half time, it's Chelsea nil, it's Brighton and Hove Albion nil. To be honest with you guys, that first half was as good as even. We did have more chances than they did and we can definitely say that we had the better chances for that reason. But we should be going into half time with the lead for that reason. But um, Hopefully we can score in the second half and I'll see you very soon for the second half. The second half has just begun. Come on you Blues, step it up and just get the job done. Come on Chelsea. Just over six minutes of the second half have been played. Hakim Ziyech did manage to get in behind Adam Webster, I think it was and he did try to pick out someone in the middle of the box but his pass um, didn't find anyone and sadly we weren't able to create any um, chances from the brilliance in skill from Hakim Ziyech but yes, I have to say that what we saw in the first half has continued into the second half but hopefully that changes very soon. We have now reached the hour mark and there's still no breakthrough for either side. Christian Pulisic did have a chance to get through and go after Mason Mount put him through, or tried to anyways, after a brilliant run through the middle of the park, but he was um, barged off the ball by one of the Brighton defenders, but there's not been a lot to talk about in the second half so far. Chelsea make two substitutions at once and they see Callum hudson doy and Timo Werner come on for Marcos Alonso and Kai Havertz. Hakim Ziyech has another chance to create a chance but um, his final ball just went straight into the hands of Robert Sanchez and I have to say that it's slightly disappointing because um, we are chasing a top four place and we are running out of time in this game but yes, it's another chance that goes begging for Chelsea Chelsea's third and final substitution in this match sees Olivier Giroud come on for Hakim Ziyech there are less than 10 minutes plus additional time left at the end of this match and I have to say that Brighton, sorry I have to say that Brighton and Hove Albion have had some glorious chances to score their first ever goal at this round, but thankfully um, luck was on our side, but yes, um, we are into the last few stages of this match. Olivier Giroud has a chance to open the scoring after Rhys James put in a great ball into the box from our left hand side, and yes, you've heard that correctly, and I have to say that this was... Um, Chelsea's best chance of the second half so far, but Olivier Giroud could only fire the ball wide off the target and with the proximity in which he was to the goal, you'd expect him to put it into the back of the net, but yes, it's another chance that goes begging for the Blues. We are into three added minutes at the end of this match. It's full time, the final score is Chelsea nil, 
for Ashley and Hope Albion nil. We were not at our best today and I have a feeling that it is to do with the Super League nonsense or maybe it was to do with the fact that we played a high intensity game against Manchester City on the weekend but either way we were not at our best today but I'm going to give Brighton and Hope Albion a lot of credit because they did defend really well and they made it very hard for us to get through them and that's all I'm going to say on it. I'll see you all very soon for my review.